Welcome back everybody. Today I want to show you an old farm that I didn't even know existed until very recently while I was doing research for a different video. This farm is over 10 years old and was introduced in a realm reborn. It also seems not many people utilize it and it can be done by just about anyone. All you will need is your fishing around level 50 with at least 350 gathering and the ability to descend with culinary. That's it. What farm am I talking about? It's fishing up the hidden glamour pieces for the sea breeze and red summer swimsuits. Summer is coming and people love the glam with their favorite swimwear. Also, with Final Fantasy XIV officially launching on Xbox on March 21st, there will be a lot of new people that are going to want to buy pretty outfits for the Warriors of Light. So this is a prime time to start this farm. Don't worry about reaching the requirements. You can easily get to level 50 on fishing in just a few short ocean expeditions and use the waste grips awarded to buy upgraded gear. If you need help leveling your culinary and unlocking decent, I have a video right here that can help you out. This farm will be utilizing the Mooch Bell for fishing and most of the catches are Aorizian time-based and weather-based. To track Aorizian weather, I use the website Aorizian Weather. It shows you the IRL time that the weather will change. The weather changes every eight Aorizian hours and an Aorizian day is 70 real life minutes. So let's get started. The first fish we'll be farming for is Gigantic Shark. You can find him in Middle Lenosha on the ocean west of Summerford Farms. You'll need a floating minnow lure. Don't make the mistake I made of buying 25. You only need one. This is the easiest fish to fish up because it can be fished anytime and during any weather. To improve your chances, you'll want to cast patience, making it so normal sized fish can be mooched instead of just large. The drawback is, it lowers your hook proficiency. We fix this by casting precision hook set for one exclamation mark bites and powerful hook set for two and three exclamation mark bites. There are two fish that can be mooched to catch Gigantic Shark, Marathor Gobi and Harbor Herring, and they mooch into an Ogre Barracuda, which you then mooch to get your Gigantic Shark. Gigantic Shark will be in a three exclamation mark only. Make sure you use a powerful hook set to help catch him Gigantic Shark can descend into the Sea Breeze Summer Halter or the South Seas Talaman. The next fish we'll be farming is Twitchbeard. He can be found in the Mist, the player housing area for Limsa Limsa, and you can fish him up in any of the bodies of water. You'll need spoon worms, and it can only be fished up between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 a.m., and the weather needs to be clear or fair. Once again, cast patience and only use precision hook set. That's the one exclamation mark boost because we only want the full moon sardine in order to mooch for a twitch beard. Remember to make sure to also use a powerful hook set and only catch three exclamation marks. Twitch beard can be descent into the red summer marrow or the red summer perio. Now we'll be farming up Octomammoth. It can be found anywhere in the lower decks of Limsa Lamenza. The bait is pill bugs and it requires clear or fair weather during the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. We'll be casting patience into either one exclamation or two, trying to catch Marathor, Gobi, or Harbor Herring in order to mooch into an Octomammoth. Remember to make sure to also use a powerful hook set and only catch three exclamation marks. Octomammoth can descend into Sea Breeze Summer Perio or the Blue Summer Morrow. Next, we're heading to Oakwood in Upper Lenosha to fish up Torum of Fish. It requires a spinner lure. You can make the lure with your goldsmith or buy one off the market board. They tend to run about 5,000 gil. Torum of Fish can be fished during the hours of 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. and can be fished during any weather. Start again by casting Patience, wait for a single exclamation mark, and cast Precision Mark. You're looking for a common sculpin to mooch into the Torum of Fish. Remember to make sure to also use a powerful hook set and only catch three exclamation marks. The Torma fish can be decent into the Gold Roselle Capeline. Next, we're heading to the ship graveyard on the island off the coast of Western Lenosha to fish up frilled sharks. You'll be needing spoon worms again. Freely requires it to be cloudy or foggy and can be fished up during the hours of 5 p.m. and 2 a.m. Cast patience into precision mark for a one exclamation to catch a Mayathor Gobi. Mooch that into a Wahoo. The Wahoo will be mooched into a giant squid, which will finally mooch into a frilled shark. 
Remember to use a powerful hook set and all these casts to offset the disadvantage. The frilled shark can be descent into the coronal summer halter or the tight leaf lay. Now we'll be heading over to Costa del Sol in eastern Lanosha to fish out the shark tuna. Shark tunas require spoon worms and can only be fished between the hours of 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. with clear or fair skies. Once again, cast patience into a precision mark on a one exclamation mark for a full moon sardine. If you catch a fish and it's not large, you can cast identical cast and you'll catch another full moon sardine, hopefully large size this time. You want to mooch the sardine in order to catch a shark tuna. Remember to make sure to use a powerful hook set to catch your shark tuna. The shark tuna can be desynthesized into summer sandals. Another way to farm the summer sandals is to go to Southern Sandalin in the Sengoli Dunes. You can airfish a magic carpet from the crevasse on the edge of the map. Magic carpets requires a heat wave during any time of the day. You will also need sand leeches. Cast patience into a powerful hook set on a two exclamation mark to catch a storm rider at your mooch for a magic carpet. Make sure to also use a powerful hook set and only catch three exclamation marks. Once again, the magic carpet can descend into summer sandals. Magic carpet is an ideal farm because you'll get an eight hour game time window to farm instead of the normal two. The downside is it's much rarer for a heat wave to occur. The last fishing farm I'll show you today is for the Lone Ripper. You can find it in Halfstone in Western Lenosha. It can be caught anytime but requires gale weather. You'll need a heavy steel jig lure to catch it, which you can make with your goldsmith or buy off the market for for about 5,000 gil. This farm is a straight up three exclamation mark catch. I'm not sure if there's ways to boost your proc chances or just hope RNGesus shines down upon you. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comments. The Lone Ripper can descend into waterproof cotton, which is a rare region and tends to sell for about 120,000 gil each. So it may be worth it to run over there anytime you see it has gale weather. Now, some people don't like fishing. So if you prefer to not fish, you can always gamba. Just allow others to do all the work and you benefit off of them. Just add these fists to your favorites tab on the market board, and when you see a fairly low priced fish, snatch it up, it's decent, and hopefully reap in the rewards of other people's hard work. Now that I've shown you the farms, it's time for the fun part. Let's go over the potential rewards. We'll head back to Old Faithful Universalis. At the time of recording this, Sea Breeze Summer Halter is going for roughly 69,000. South Seas Talisman is 30,000. Red Summer Marrow is 10,000. Red Summer Perio is 300,000. Sea Breeze Summer Perio is 45,000. Blue Summer Marrow is less than 2,000. Uh, Coronal Summer Halter is 147,000. Tai Leaf Lay is 7,000. The Summer Sandals are 55,000. The Gold Roselle Kaplan is 1,800. And the Waterproof Cotton Cloth is going for just under 120,000. As you can see, the female glamours are going for way more than the males. Sadly, the female characters are more interested in making cute outfits than the guys on the most part. Most of the time, the guys want to just make big, strong, monster glam. But some people still like their swimwear. It still comes out to worth it in the end. So I hope you enjoyed this little fishing farm that just about anyone can do. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.